Hi ST fans and welcome back to the channel. Dive computers used to be one of the more expensive components of a scuba diver's arsenal of equipment. But over time, technological advances and a wider choice from a plethora of manufacturers has driven the price down. And you can now get extremely capable units for very reasonable prices. In this video, I'm going to offer my opinion on one of the new kids on the block, the Aqualum I330R. For those here for the first time, and why is that? My name's Mark, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Scuba Diver Media Brand, and welcome to the Scuba Diver YouTube channel. Before we get into this latest video, take two seconds, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And remember to ring that bell so you get a notification of the latest releases. Everyone loves something for nothing, right? Check out in the description below for all sorts of goodies, like a free digital subscription to any of our magazines. Where we can, we'll link you to the equipment that we talk about in the support our channel section in the description. For transparency, we'll earn a small commission each time you purchase after clicking on one of our links. And this will go directly back into making more content for you to enjoy. Now, let's dive into the video. With dive equipment, I've always advocated buy once, buy wisely, and urge people to get that kit that will grow with them, rather than buy basic and outgrow it soon into their rise up the diving ladder of skills and experience. As I explained in our recent roundup of budget wrist-mounted dive computers, it has to be said the vast majority of people starting out on their diving journey will never venture into open circuit technical diving or closed circuit rebreathers. So really, they don't need to blow a shed load of cash on an all singing, all dancing computer that has a whole host of features they will never ever use or need. Many entry level computers still boast features that would allow the user to dabble in some entry level technical diving. I'm talking multiple nitrox mixes and gauge mode. So there's still the option for them to accompany you further on your diving adventures before an upgrade becomes necessary. And that is the case with the Aqualong i330R. The i330R is a new kid on the block in the dive computer market, and I reckon it's gonna give the established players a run for their money, as it's the only one under 300 British pounds with a full color screen and a rechargeable battery. As you can see, the i330 is quite a compact unit compared with its brother, the i770R, but it's still got a vividly bright full color screen. And this is exceptionally easy to see, even in bright sunlight and bad vis. Some full color screens in the past have suffered when you've been in the shallows on a sunny day, but the display on the i330R had no issues. Now, obviously on a night dive, it would really pop. The screen display has the depth at the top, no deco time in the middle, and the max depth and dive time on the bottom is very clear. And the bars on either side, one for showing tissue loading and the other indicating your ascent rate work well too. There are only two buttons mounted on the right hand side for you to navigate through the intuitive menus. A single quick press lets you scroll through the sections and a long press takes you into the sub menu. When you want to return to the main screen, you press and hold both buttons in. Very easy and you can get your head around it within a couple of minutes of playing with it straight out of the box. Entry level dive computers need to be easy to use. And I always think it's a solid fail if you need to reference the instruction booklet or digital manual to find out how to conduct basic operations. When it comes to maximizing your dive time, the i330i uses a tried and tested Z plus algorithm. And once you're back on the surface, you can download your dives to your phone or tablet via Bluetooth and the Divalog Plus app to make logging your dives a doddle. You can also use Divalog Plus to manage your computer settings instead of using the button. Alongside that color screen, one of the main features of the i330R is the fact it is factory sealed and it's got a rechargeable battery. So there's no worries about flooding it when you do a battery change, which is always a concern when you have a unit with a user replaceable battery. Battery life is good. Aqualung reckons you can get 30 hours out of a charge, but you can top up the juice via the USB and magnetic charging cable as of when you need to on your dive trip. The brightness of that screen can also be dialed down if you want to extend the battery life a little more. 
To protect that display, a screen protector is already fitted. That's a nice touch, and you don't have to faff about fitting your own and then getting air bubbles underneath. Computers fitted with a NATO-style webbing strap rather than the conventional rubber versions or the bungee cord that's often offered as an option. I like NATO straps. The strong and the secure. And they look good as well. Remember, aesthetics is important. Before our final summary though, it's over to my twin brother for a word from our sponsors. The Apex Lunar Advanced Dive Light is aimed at the serious explorer and adventurer and boasts 3,600 lumens from its six XPL2 LEDs for two hours on full power. The Lunar Advance doesn't simply offer different power settings, it has an industry first optimized mode selector, which features six preset programs offering a variety of runtimes and power settings, so you can choose your power settings to optimize runtime, low, medium, or high power, depending on the dive you are doing. The longest runtime is a staggering 36 hours. It has an LED display panel showing runtime remaining in hours and minutes and comes in a zipper protective case with its USB charging cable and a multi-region plug. Comes complete with an anodized aluminium Goodman handle, which is actually capable of holding two torches or the torch alongside an action camera. The Lunar Advanced is depth rated to 100 meters and comes in plastic free packaging. Now, back to Mark in the studio. Thanks for that, bro. A very illuminating look at that dive light. I know, I know, I couldn't resist. So, the Aklung i330R. I have to say, for 269 British pounds, it's phenomenal value for money. The fact it has Bluetooth capabilities and offers air nitrox free dive and gauge modes, and in the nitrox mode can handle up to three mixes from 21 to 100%, makes it worth that price tag anyway. But once you factor in the rechargeable battery and the full color display, it represents even more of a bargain. To put that into perspective, to get a full color screen on a wrist mounted computer previously, you would have needed to add another couple of hundred pounds onto that amount to get something like the Shearwater Research Peregrine or the Sunto Eon Core. Now, both of these are extremely capable computers that we highly rate, but the i330R costs nearly half as much as their retail prices. No, it doesn't have air integration or a digital compass, but Aqualung had to leave some features out to keep it so keenly priced. And in my opinion, I think the benefits of that vivid, very clear display and the rechargeable battery outweigh the lack of these other features. So, what do you think of the i330R? What would you look for in your first dive computer? Leave your comments below, and if you've got a question, fire away. Because if we can't answer it, I'm sure some of our ever-growing subscribers will be able to assist. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And go check out our playlist for more educational and entertaining videos. As always, if you're going diving, whatever computer you're using, stay safe.